Lee and welcome to this narrowboat adventure. So I guess I ought to talk about the elephant in the room and that is that I now have curly hair. Uh, it's a perm so it's going to stay this way. It might get a bit longer and even change the curls slightly but this is what we're working with at the moment. Now first thing I want to say is thank you so so very much for helping me get to 10,000 subscriber. Anybody who's uh, subscribed, anybody who's shared my videos, anybody who's liked a video, anybody who's disliked a video, anyone who's commented, anyone who's patronised my videos, thank you so so much. This means an absolute world to me. Um, one of the main things that happens when you hit 10,000 subscribers is that you can go and use the YouTube space. So hopefully my editing is going to get a bit better, hopefully I'm going to learn some and hopefully because they have fantastic internet there, my upload speed is going to be 10 times quicker, my editing is going to be getting up to speed and much faster which means there'll be more videos and better quality videos so thank you so much it means an awful awful lot to me like honestly like my mind is blown I remember making a really excited video when I hit 500 so like this is just mental um, anyway on to the video this is a Carl Goes to London Islands book club video sorry there's some banging going on somewhere um, so we are going back to Carl Goes to London Islands. This is our penultimate Carl Goes to London Islands video. And I'm going to be covering quite a few islands in this video. We're going to go all the way from Platts Eot to Ravens Eyot. And so before we do that, I want to tell you a little bit about something exciting for the ultimate video I'm going to be doing. Um, so as you know, in the very, very first video where I introduced this book, I was on Eelpai Island for their Eelpai Islands open artist studio weekend and I was with the author Sasha and so this year it is coming up to the Ilpai Islands artist studio open weekend um, and I'm going to be helping Sasha again this year with selling these books um, I wasn't helping her last year I was just visiting but this year I am so if you'd like to meet me if you'd like to meet the author if you'd like to get a book signed by the author you can come along to Ilpai Islands Artists Studio Open Weekend that's going to be this Saturday the 22nd of June this Sunday the 23rd of June and next weekend the 29th and the 30th of June I'm going to be there pretty much the whole time it's open so like 10 30 till 6 30 i'm gonna leave a little early on sundays so don't leave it too late on the sundays if you come in sunday and um, there's going to be loads of beautiful art all the artist studios are going to be open there'll be loads of art cakes tea islands what more do you need um yeah so it's in twickenham if you want to go um google it or look in the description below right on to the video let's have a look at these islands So the first island we'll be looking at will be Platz Eot. You can find that on page 117. At one end of this island there is a nature conservation area. You'll notice the rest of the island is surrounded by boats.
Here near these two green buildings you'll see that there is a recording studio, the Spice Girls and Eric Clapton and even Seb, my lovely partner who makes guitar for these videos, has recorded there. At the opposite end of the island there is Thorny Croft Boat Builders and there's also a slipway uh, for boat maintenance. Also on this island there's a brewery, the Tiny Vessel Brewing Company.
And there's also a suspension bridge, which was built in 1941. Here we have Garrick's Ayat, that's on page 101. This island has 26 houses. This island was named after the actor David Garrick, famous in the 1700s. He erected what is thought to be the only shrine to William Shakespeare. And the island is the only island in the country named after an actor. A flint axe was found on this island, dated to four thousand before Christ. A 
The island was originally used for camping and picnics and then huts were built and eventually those homes were built. This island became used for growing and harvesting weeping willow trees in the 18th century. Um, so those branches are called oozures. Um, they're strong, flexible and resistant to rot. So they're fantastic for fishing traps and basket making and reinforcing riverbanks. But it can also be used for cricket bats, paddles, ladders, um, poles for fences, all sorts of things. Tags Island on page 85. In 1850, a developer bought this island and evicted the squatters and gypsies that were living there. So legend has it that the gypsies cursed the island so that anyone associated with the island would never get to anything good. And there have been quite a number of hotels and businesses since then. And each time one of those has failed, that's been like treated as proof that the curse is real. One of the hotels on this boat, on this island, um, had a grand house built called the Astoria. If you want to know a bit more about that boat, you can have a look in the book. There's loads of information about it. My favourite piece of information about the Astoria is that that is where Charlie Chaplin was discovered. He had his very first audition on the Astoria. And the boat is now owned by David Gilmore from Pink Floyd. Very good way to spend your money, if you ask me. The next island is Ash Island on page 77. This island is privately owned and even has its own boatyard. It has three houses and 50 houseboats and a weir at either end of the island. This island is called Cigarette Island on page 75.
It is across from Hampton Court Palace. It's basically not really an island anymore because it was an island when it was surrounded by the River Mole, which is no longer a river. Um, so the corner island is now a park known as Cigarette Island Park. This island is Thames Ditton Island on page 71. It has 50 homes, many of those are on stilts. Um, presumably because the island occasionally floods. Uh, one of the big houses that was bought on this island was bought by a businessman who was known for blackmailing politicians and was suspected of murder on more than one occasion. And even suspected of a suspicious death that happened on the island. It still has a small public part of this island which is accessible by bridge and has got great views of Hampton Court Park. They also have an annual duck race! and it has a silt bridge that connects it to the island next door. This is Swan Island on page 69, not the Swan Island on page 53. There are two Swan Islands on the Thames. Uh, there used to be a modest ferryman's hut which has now been updated into a proper house. This one was created with clay from the underground as it was being excavated to build the underground way, way back when.
And our last island is Raven's Ayat on page 65. This, is, this island is where the Treaty of Kingston was signed and it saved England from submitting to the French in the 13th century. Um, originally, it was known as the Raven's Arse, um, but then it became an important venue for Kingston Rowing Club, so they changed the name. There was a dispute over if it was private land or public land for a time, and eco-protesters took over the island, but eventually they were evicted. Um, it was then made into a venue for weddings and other private hire events. And they also have public nights there. So if you want to visit, you can go to one of their cinema nights, beer festivals, barbecues or Sunday lunches. I do hope you enjoyed looking at these islands. We just have one island left that I'm going to cover and that's going to be Eel Pie Island. And if you'd like to come visit me on Eel Pie Island and possibly be in that video, you can do so this weekend, the 23rd and 22nd of June, or the 29th and 30th of June um, on Eel Pie Island near Twickenham. I'll be there with Sasha, the author of this book, selling this book and other travel books, uh, Cargoes to London Islands. Um, if you haven't got a copy, this is a perfect time to get one, as I believe it will be cheaper than online if you come and get it in person. And there'll be loads of beautiful things going on. So we'd lovely to see anybody there who wants to come. Um, and I think our next book club book I have chosen is going to be this one, uh, Boating Recipes Traditional Cabin Fare. There, I have two copies with different fonts. The only difference I can find is this one does not include an email address and this one does. On the back page, the email address is there for you to buy further books in the series. Um, one thing that I'm thinking is if you guys want to buy this book you could email inquiries at jsalmon.co.uk and sometime in the near future I'm going to be starting to cook recipes from these books hopefully with things that I foraged um, as that's kind of what I think I want to try and do this year so this is our next book for the boat for the book club for watching let me know in the description which island we've covered so far was your favorite and if you're going to come at the weekend um, if you have a look on the first video i made about uh, carl goes to london islands with sasha um, you can see when you go in you have to go all the way through the like the very last spot at the very end of the market is where she's probably going to be um, so it'd been fantastic to see you and thank you so much for watching Thank you so much for subscribing, commenting, all the beautiful things that you do. If you want to join us on this narrowboat adventure, if you haven't already, you can click subscribe down below. If you want to go over to Facebook, you can find me there by searching this narrowboat adventure. You can even message me there if you want to say something that you don't want to say in the comments. You can also uh, help me out by supporting the videos through Patreon. Um, thank you so much to anybody who has done that. I'd, honestly, we would never ever have gotten this far without people who support through Patreon. And also, if you would like to help me in another way, I have some links in the description to like my camera equipment and stuff on Amazon. If you're gonna buy stuff on Amazon anyway, if you click on those links first, I get a tiny kickback. It doesn't cost you any more. And it's just another way you can support these videos. Um, but thank you so much for all of your support so far. Thanks for being awesome. Tell me what's going on in your life. Tell me what island you like the best in the description and have a great day. Bye! Thank you.